welcome to the video. Today's a special day. Doing a little max out Monday, something I used to do back in high school. As I've gotten smarter in bodybuilding, I stopped doing it, but sometimes you just gotta let it rip, you know? <laughs> Hopefully not our backs and our muscles. Spencer's here, Jake's behind the camera. He's not, he's not trying today. Yeah, I just got recovered from COVID, so I'm not pushing myself too hard. Yeah, but me and Spencer are gonna go for it. How much are you going for today, Spencer? I really wanna hit 315, but if I don't, I'll kinda cry. Maybe 300, we'll see. <laughs> You're like doing full on power. I'm just going like gym bro tap yeah, and go. Like, yeah. <laughs> so do you think you're gonna you think you're gonna get your 300, 315? I think I can hit 300, 315. We're about to find out. So you think he's, he has it? Yeah, I do. Yeah. The only reason he's definitely strong enough. If he doesn't get it, it won't because it be because of strength. It'll be because he missed Bruce. <laughs> I've already hit this for a five last week, so if I fail this, I'm gonna cry. Thirty more pounds. <laughs> it forces you to get good under pressure. You're literally just putting pressure on yourself and most people can't handle it. Just calm down, control the situation. I'm actually really nervous in my life. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Oh, nice, back this way, yep. Up, 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 up. That was so sloppy, but I knew I was gonna get it. I got too excited, literally. I was right here, I'm like, yep, got it. And I got too excited, <laughs> but hey, I went up. So I got like, way too excited. I was like, shoot, did I hold it too long? No, and you just went. Gosh, dang it. I, I mean, I got it, so. Yeah, you got it. Yeah. Literally, the meat on your arms is like <laughs> Dude, my arms shake at 225. <laughs> Wise words for Spencer right now. Visualize it, make a promise to yourself you're gonna push as hard as you can. And if then, you don't do it, quit. Let's go, let's go. Oh, 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 push, 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 <laughs> it's it's the technique. It's the strength is there. If it would have just been a smoother rep, it would have gone. Good job, buddy. <laughs> All right, guys. So as you saw, just got a new PR on bench press, and super excited about it. I mean, 375 to me is a number that I just couldn't actually ever imagine getting. Uh, you know, years ago when I was benching 225, uh, working my way up to you know other milestones like 275, 315, all that good stuff. It's just crazy how far you can really come. But I wanted to make this video and and talk right now about how to get a PR, specifically on bench press, because there's uh, several things that I think a lot of people will maybe overlook or don't really think about when it comes to getting a PR on bench press. I've made all the mistakes, guys. I've I've been the guy that was maxing out every single Monday, you know, trying to get a new PR and just burning myself out and then going months, if not, you know, a year plus without getting any PRs because I was just making all these mistakes. So we're gonna dive in and talk about those mistakes. Mistake number one is not properly building your strength before you test your strength. So you're not gonna get strong Stronger week to week just because you feel like it or you want to you know you have to actually build that strength the way you're gonna build that strength is by lifting lighter higher volume and then eventually tapering off so increasing the weight while decreasing the volume doing less sets less reps but heavier weight and eventually at the peak of that peak you're gonna get a PR I think number two is focusing on the right technique as you can see in in my bench press videos uh, I really am getting as tight as possible throughout my entire body. So not just like, you know, not just retracting my scapula, which is really important, but also bending my back so that my core is tight. I literally do take a giant deep breath and then lock my core before I get the lift off and I hold my breath the entire time. Um, I make sure my elbows are tight, my shoulders are tight, scapula retracted, core tight, legs are tight, everything is tight. Height. Otherwise, you're gonna lose a lot of that energy throughout your body. You want everything as tight as possible. It'd be like it'd be like you know trying to use an axe to cut down a tree if the 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 stick part of the axe was made out of rubber and it wasn't very strong. You would lose all of that energy when you go into your swing. Same type of thing. You need your body to be as strong as possible so you have a firm foundation so that you can bench press a lot of weight. And then number three, which is actually the most important thing, is all about that mindset. And this might sound crazy. It might sound um, you know, maybe a little bit of like pseudoscience or something like that, but 
A lot of guys psych themselves out before they go for a heavy bench press and a lot of other things too. You know, maybe squat, deadlift, doesn't matter. Anything heavy, anything that involves a lot of pressure on you, guys psych themselves out. So there's a few things you can do and a few things that I do that you can actually see in the video. First of all, I get my mind right right away. Before I get on the bench, I, I basically make a promise to myself I'm gonna push as hard as possible. So I'm kind of taking off the pressure. I'm just saying, you know, like, hey, I'm gonna try as hard as I can, that's all I can do. And then number two, I visualize it. I see myself doing it before I actually do it. So then in my head, I've already done it. And now I have to just do it physically. That's the easy part. You know, if you can do it mentally, you can do it physically. And then also I'm just totally accepting of that pressure. Like, yes, I'm putting pressure on myself, but I've taught myself to be able to perform well under that pressure, which I think a lot of people need to maybe start doing a little bit more often. So that's one thing I really like. So, I mean, yeah, I get to like say, oh, I got a new PR and everything, but a big reason why I like it is just gives me a chance to put a lot of pressure on myself and then prove that I can control that pressure and still perform well, which I have found has helped me in other aspects of my life. Like crazy, especially in bodybuilding, you know, you'll have the guys before they hop on stage that are so nervous and they go out there, they mess up their posing routine or they do something weird that they don't usually do just because they're so nervous. They can't, they can't, you know, hold their core tight because they're breathing so heavily things like that. So I think stuff like this just really gives you a chance to practice doing things under pressure and getting good. So when you are on that bench press and you are about to max out, it's all nothing but good vibes, nothing but confidence. You're able to just control your emotions and be present in the moment and then give it your all. So that's three things right there. Make sure you actually build your strength first. Make sure your everything is tight as possible so that you're not losing energy through the lift. And then number three, just be really good under pressure, teach yourself how to perform well under pressure, visualize it, um, get your mind right, all that good stuff. And you're gonna be smashing PRs in no time. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to hit the like button and uh, do it for me and for Spencer, because Spencer got a PR too. So <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. Peace out.